video editing is hard. And reason why I found Kate and asked for her help. She's been a lifesaver. Video editing can be hard. Maybe hard's not the right word. Let's say time consuming. Because yes, video editing can be very time consuming, especially if you're just starting out. If you're just starting out, it sounds fun and exciting and like something that you could create an entire career out of. But then you get into it and you start realizing, oh my God, what did I just get myself into? <laughs> because it is very time consuming. It requires a lot of planning, it requires a lot of research, and it requires a completely different set of skills than you may already have. If you like being on the computer, then yes, video editing is something that you may want to consider because it's very detailed and it's also requires you to be very close to the computer for long amounts of time and to be completely and totally focused. So if you're someone with SOS, shiny object syndrome, <laughs> then video editing. <laughs> she just got to make her appearance. Video editing with Chloe thing might be something that you want to consider because it does require your time, it requires your attention, and it requires a lot of focus. Here's my experience. I wanted to start doing more videos and I was at a point in my business where I wanted to earn money for each expense that I was actually distributing. So I didn't want to pay somebody to do my video editing for me if I wasn't making money doing videos or through videos yet. So I made the business and financial decision to learn video editing, even the basic skills required to edit my own videos. And you know what? I did it. I started off actually creating videos on my phone and then using a video editing app on my phone to do light editing. Yes, I was editing on my phone. <laughs> That's how easy it can be. But I will have a full disclaimer here is that it wasn't the type of editing where you were doing all kinds of cuts and jumps and overlays and text and, and all of the fancy stuff. I was doing clips at the beginning and end and I was also adding um, text overlays throughout the video, but it was very, very minor edits to the videos. But you know what? I took the steps, I took action, I started creating videos, and I got that light editing done. But here's the thing. I'm the type of person that I'm not okay with just doing the bare minimum. I decided I wanted to do more editing, make my videos look even more professional, even though they're not commercial quality videos. So I took it upon myself to research all the different options out there for video editing. And I decided to go with Lightworks, which I do tell people now I do not recommend only because it's a little bit more time intensive and it takes a little bit more time to learn. And had I known of other options that were available at the time, I would have gone with those such as DaVinci Resolve, which I'm very lightly familiar with. And what you'll find with video editing applications or software is that there's a lot of similar functionality and features that you can do across the board, even like where their functions are laid out on the window. And then what you'll find out is that um, there's different capabilities um, that require a payment plan in order to move forward with that. So you just have to do your research. In fact, I review video editing as a part of my 30 day video boot camp. So if you've been wanting to get started with videos, but just don't know that don't have the time, don't know where to begin and really just don't have the confidence to be on camera, then you may want to give that a check. I'll include the link below in the description. So yes, video editing can be a very time consuming. And that was my experience. I just wanted to learn more. I wanted to make more professional videos. I wanted to do the, fade out, fade in, movement with the text overlays and just add some bells and whistles, literally, when you do the subscribe and the bell. <laughs> so I found sounds, I found music that I can incorporate. I even created my own video intro 
that was actually pretty cool and I had a sound over or underlay to it as well. So I had fun creating the videos, but here's the thing. I realized I was investing way too much time in not just creating the videos, but also editing the videos. And I realized over time that although it was fun at first, it kind of lost its luster and it really became more of a, an energy drainer and a time sucker and something I really didn't look forward to doing. In fact, I found myself delaying the video creation process because I knew I was going to have to do the editing as well. I'd wait till the last minute and then I'd get really frustrated and then I became um, lost with time and I wasn't getting my video uploaded on time because I'd run into a problem and it wouldn't publish right or I'd delete something I wasn't supposed to and it just became a big mess. And I didn't want to take a step backwards in the quality of the videos that I had been producing so or editing, publishing. So I wanted to make sure that I continued to move forward. Time for some more coffee before I get on a meeting. So I realized the video editing was becoming just way too much for me and it was really taking not only a bunch of my time, but it was also just really sucking my energy and it really became maddening. Like I had to find somebody else to do this for me. I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I needed to focus on other things that were more strategic or more customer facing or customer focused and also focus more on the video creation part of it, part of it instead of the actual editing. So I had a conversation with now my good friend Kate, who I found through my good friend Diana Wilson, who's an online course creator, online course creator coach. It's really hard to say, <laughs> but she, um, she introduced me to Kate and I had, you know, of course, before working with somebody, I want to have those conversations with them to make sure that we're a good fit. Now, I know I've got options. I can either continue video editing in front of the computer for hours on end, or I can pay somebody else to do it so I can focus on other things that I actually enjoy more, like strategic planning or working with customers or some type of video creation course or process or program. So I decided to go ahead and hire my video editor, Kate, and uh, she's been doing a fabulous job ever since then. So the process that I've gone through is I wanted to, of course, do it myself at first, not only just to learn the process, but to save money, get it done quicker, do it on my time frame so that I didn't have to plan so far ahead of time and get things done for somebody else to actually do. So it actually was helpful for me to act, to do the video editing myself initially, just so I could become familiar with the different functions and features and options available for editing a video if I ever had to in the future. So now that I had that out of the way, I wanted to go ahead and delegate that to someone else, someone who was more passionate about editing videos than I was or ever would be. I couldn't see myself really investing time in doing video editing as like a full-time job. So I definitely knew it was time to outsource it and get somebody else on board who I knew I could work well with, would be able to give me ideas, help me through the process, and had video editing skills that was going to make mine look really bad or put me to shame. <laughs> and Kate's do. She's really good at what she does and she's a great people person. She really knows how to have those conversations to uncover where you can really let yourself show more through video and help you with different topics and perceptions and ad additional like overlays that you can include in your videos as well. So it's been a godsend having her on board and doing the video editing for me and really taking that off my plate. Here's the thing. Not only has it allowed me to do things in my business that I've wanted to do, but it was like a huge sigh of relief knowing that I wasn't going to have that piece of any type of work that I needed to do moving forward. Kate loves it. She's very passionate about video editing and she loves working with people. So it's a great fit for both of us. It's a win-win. So I'm really thankful that I brought her on board. So if you've been wanting to get started with video, but really don't know where to begin, or you're kind of thinking like, I don't know if I've got the money to hire somebody to edit my videos. I don't want to do it myself. That's not how I want to spend my time. 
then I encourage you to at least start creating videos. And if you're interested, I've got a 30 day video boot camp that can help you through that process and even talk about in one of my videos about video editing so that you can do some light editing yourself. And like I said, it's really helpful to just go through that process, even to do the light editing and spend, you know, 30 minutes, an hour on your video, just to understand what's involved and to see where it can actually take place in your video creation process moving forward when you're ready to hire a video editor. So if that's something that you're interested in, I will include a link in the description below so that you can check that out as well. <laughs> my process for trying to find some place to do a video chat. I've got to do my sign off. Oh, it's gonna pop out again. Let's do this hurry before it decides to pop out. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you investing time in my channel and in my videos. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you know when new videos are uploaded every week. Thank you again, and until next time, make today great.